On this All Saints Day, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The Jubilate, page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 111 and 112, beginning on page 754. Psalms 111 and 112, page 754. Hallelujah! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright, in the congregation. Great are the deeds of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and splendor, and His righteousness endures forever. He makes his marvelous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gives food to those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the lands of the nations. The works of his hands are faithfulness and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever because they are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is His name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Those who act accordingly have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Hallelujah. Happy are they who fear the Lord and have great delight in His commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house and their righteousness will last forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. The righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending and to manage their affairs with justice. For they will never be shaken. The righteous will be kept in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They put their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until they see their desire upon their enemies. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their head with honor. The wicked will see it and be angry. They will gnash their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. What more shall I say? For time will fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David, Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection, some were tortured, refusing to accept release that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawed in two, they were killed with the sword, they went about in sheep, skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had foreseen something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. 
Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On this feast day, we say together the Te Deum on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. God of hope, Make us so to fall in love with your truth that we would seek to speak of it to the ends of the earth. God of all, you call us together to worship you and to be seekers after your truth in our lives. Strengthen all those who strive to preach your gospel and to live by your teachings in this and every nation, that together we may show to our world the hope, the joy, and the peace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, as we give thanks for the communion of saints, so we pray for all your holy people at work in the world in our own day. Lord of all, through whose saints we learn the courage that is founded on faith, the service that is founded on love, and the insight that is founded on hope. Grant us strength in our Christian discipleship, that inspired by the lives of all the saints and aided by their prayers, we may become holy as you have called each one of us to be holy and the world may be led into the ways of justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn to page 101 and we pray together. Almighty God, Father, Father of all, all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love 
in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.